Bana Uganda banang. Nze na kwe lockdown. Simani mwe chiri chitie. I've boldly spoken about the measures taken to prevent the spread of coronavirus. I didn't think it was actually necessary. Because at the end of the day, we had no cases inside the country. So looking down the entire economy, I don't think it was effective. Uh, unofficial figures, unofficial. If I'm wrong, you guys can come into the comment and give me yours. Indicate that over a thousand people have died since this lockdown was implemented. And what have they died from? Most of the mothers that can't access health facilities. People are diabetic and other illness. And, and I'm happy that we are getting there. When I started, in the first place, people said, Hood, you bring out conspiracy theories. I said, maybe with time it will make sense. For that time, it didn't, because the fear was too much. People had been following Western media, and you know that this plague had almost turned countries like Italy upside down. So every time people tune on, on CNN, they tune in, BBC, they just watch people die. And I remember one pastor, Iga, was arrested for speaking out, and they said, you know what, we've been with this disease, maybe we developed had immunity. So it was quickly silenced. Well, this is Hodu's perspective. Here, you will find uncensored content, commentary about things happening in this country. Stuff that mainstream media will not speak about or because it's owned by the corporations or they are surviving on their adverts. But here, we don't care. So take a moment and subscribe. And also hit the notification bell that you don't miss a video from us. Going forward, I've seen so many businesses where I stay in SETA turned 360 degrees down. Some of them have no chances of recovery. The notion, the narrative that we are preventing the spread of coronavirus at the expense of some people's livelihood defeats my understanding. There are people, once we take out their livelihood, they are as good as dead. For them, stopping them from earning a coin is death in itself. So, before I used to applaud Minister Ruth Acheng and Dana Twini for doing this, but now, the only person that is, I think is caring about the people in the NRM government is Amelia Chambad because she asks uncomfortable but relevant information, questions. You know, the chore and the prevention of coronavirus can't come at the expense of some people's lives. I remember Dongo to one time who was asking people to stay home and he said, you know, it's okay to sacrifice some people for the good of the country. But what has Odongoto sacrificed? He's cautioned with a fat bank account. His salary still comes in. He has allowances. Probably he travels in an air-conditioned vehicle. So there's no way a coronavirus is going to find him. And he has stickers to move around, but he's busy telling you, you, who is hand earning, and I mean hand to mouth, and he's telling you, sacrifice. What has the empire made sacrifice for this country? 
That's a question I'm asking. What are, have the ministers sacrificed? People say, and it's on me, it's all over, conversation is all over, social media, so don't come for me, that there's never been a cash cow like since the war in northern Uganda ended. I hear that that war brought in a lot of money. I don't know. I don't know. Then, COVID-19 donations are flowing in, some of which will never get to know how they were spent. Because the beans people are receiving, I can't even give them to the pigs. So, what are you going to tell a lady or a man whose wife died because she, can't, she couldn't access the facilities that would defeated COVID-19? I already see medical personnel jubilating, and I appreciate their work. Every single patient they discharge, they jubilate, and uh, and celebrate the achievement that how many people have died. Coronavirus is here to stay. It's not going to go away. And I doubt whether there will, be, there will be medication for it. Just like flu. Flu, from the little knowledge, I'm not an expert, I'm not a scientist, but I'm saying from the little knowledge I know, I may be wrong, flu has no cure. And coronavirus falls into these categories of flu. It's a virus. So how long are we going to stand the lockdown? We've been in this thing. People have used their money. People have used their saving to zero. How long are we going to stay in this lockdown? And yet, there are no chances that coronavirus is going to go. Even if we wake up and we declare that the country is free, another person may show up, not showing a slight symptom, and then the virus sweeps the communities once again. So let's not make this political. Open up the country. People need to survive. Most people passing laws, making decisions for us about COVID-19, coronavirus, will never be affected by the, the implications of their decision. They are cautioned from it. They have allowances, COVID-19 allowances, they have salaries, and then they are telling you stay home. In the evening, if you go to SETA, and I will insert in a video, I will put in a video at that side. Of, you see cars moving, a lot of cars moving through SETA. These are rich guys. These are guys that have the money there. They can move freely, but they tell you, please walk or ride a bicycle. I'm so annoyed and I don't have a lot of words to say. But please keep this conversation going on social media. And if you have further info about this lockdown and this implication, leave the comment below. Get in touch with you and future you on our next video. Once again, Thank you for watching. This is Hodu's perspective. We love you. We love this country. But most importantly, we love the people that are Mutuo Wansi. And if you were there, just know we feel you. We stand with you. God bless you.